we shall now commence this module by studying the foreign collaborations and indian business when we talk about foreign collaboration it's basically an aliens that is incorporated to carry on task collectively with the participation of native and non native entities like individual parties business firms companies organization government etc in simple words aliens is a union or association formed for mutual benefit of parties foreign collaboration contains ongoing business actions of sharing knowledge and expertise associated to financing engineering management consultancy logistics and so on that are basically supplied by a non resident international entity to a resident domestic entity in alternative of cheap professional and semi expert labor with an approval from a governmental authority after reading this chapter you will be able to understand the concept of foreign collaboration know the ways in which foreign collaboration takes place know the forms of foreign collaboration in india let us now begin with the understanding of the objectives of foreign collaboration the main intentions and objectives of foreign collaboration are as follows first financial growth of collaborating entities or countries main objective of foreign collaboration is financial growth of collaborating entities or countries the financial benefit of being a part of collaboration is increase in domestic or export sales second to occupy maximum market share one of the main objectives of foreign collaboration is to occupy maximum market share by entering into agreement for example to increase its global market share starbucks corporation an american global coffee company entered into strategic alliance with tata coffee asia's largest coffee plantation company third to cut back higher operating cost of non resident entity international another objective of foreign collaboration is to cut back higher operating cost of non resident entity many american and european multinationals enter into agreement with asian multinationals to cut down its higher operating cost for example many large corporations like apple inc united states blackberry limited canada dell united states enter into agreement with foxconn technology group a taiwan based multinational to manufacture their products and cut down their higher operating cost fourth industrial growth and employment generation in the resident domestic entity country one of the main reasons for government of any country to allow foreign collaboration is that it leads to generation of employment and lead to industrial growth for example in year 1982 a joint venture agreement is signed between maruti udyog limited and suzuki of japan to boost up indian automobile sector also some concerns were made that indian market was too small to absorb the large production planned by maruti suzuki but government consider adjusting the petrol tax and lowering the excise duty in order to boost sales fifth sustainable and eco friendly development nowadays one of the main motives of multinational corporation to enter into collaboration is sustainable and eco friendly development of their organization in recent times many companies enter into foreign collaboration for eco friendly development for example multinational corporation coca cola enterprises cce limited and the british firm eco plastics have collaborated to run a recycling plant in lincolnshire uk agreement marks a turning point in industrial processing of plastic waste in uk the new plant will enable treatment of more than 75000 tons of polyethylene tera phthalate pet annually this will enable a major shift in production of this material in the uk and provide coca cola with container that are far more sustainable than current ones moving on to the different types of foreign collaboration 
there are basically four types of foreign collaboration. First, financial collaboration. Second, technical collaboration. Third, marketing collaboration. Fourth, management consultancy collaboration. Financial collaboration. When we talk about financial collaboration, inflow of foreign investment takes place in resident domestic country. Financial collaboration takes place when foreign company lends finance by purchasing ownership shares, giving credit facility, giving long term loans. Next, technical collaboration. In case of technical collaboration, inflow of foreign technology takes place in resident domestic country. It basically includes integration of foreign technology with domestic technology in this type of collaboration. Foreign company provides technological know-how in the domestic country. Technical collaboration helps to bridging the gap old technology and new technology. Next is marketing collaboration. When we talk about marketing collaboration, it is defined as when foreign multinational agrees to sell goods and services offered by domestic company. Foreign multinational sells these goods and services in their own country or in international market. Next is management consultancy collaboration. In case of management consultancy foreign, multinational provides management consultancy to domestic firms as these companies that is foreign multinational have expertise and long term experience in these types of services. These type of collaborations are nowadays very much famous in developing nations. Now let us discuss the pattern of foreign collaboration in India. Throughout the globe nowadays all developing nations using import of technology and finance through foreign collaboration as a strategy to bridging the technological and financial gaps in their country and to boost up their economic development. Same hold true with India. In past 20 years, India became the world investment center. In India, foreign collaboration basically divided into two forms that is financial collaboration and technical collaboration. When we talk about financial collaboration in India, Reserve Bank of India is the approving authority and at the same time for technical collaboration, Department of Industrial Development in the Ministry of Industry is the approving authority. The approach followed by Government of India has roughly been same since the year 1949 that is to go for foreign collaboration or to allow FDI that is foreign direct investment only on preferential basis. However, over the period of time improvement been observed and collaboration takes place in almost all sectors. Next is Forms in India, foreign collaboration in India basically takes place through three routes. Collaboration between Indian company and foreign company. Collaboration between Indian government and foreign company. Collaboration between Indian government and foreign government. Collaboration between Indian company and foreign company. In this type of collaboration, tie up being made between Indian company and foreign company where ultimate motive remain the profit and wealth maximization. This is the most common type of collaborations that have been observed in India. In this type of collaboration both technology and financial resources are contributed by foreign MNCs to the domestic company. For example, ING Vaisya Bank Limited is a financial foreign collaboration between ING International Netherlands Group that is example is Tata Docomo which is a technical collaboration between Tata Teleservices from India and NTT Docomo Inc from Japan. Next is collaboration between Indian government and foreign company. In this type of collaboration tie up being made between Indian government and foreign multinational company. When we talk about these type of collaboration here, foreign company motive remain the profit and wealth maximization, but Indian government motive mainly remain the economic development and welfare of the society or national security. For example, deal being made between Indian government and Dorsalt Aviation French 
aircraft manufacturer worth $15 billion to supply 126 Rafale jets, of which 18 aircraft would be purchased in flyaway condition from France, while the rest would be made in India along with HAA, that is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Next, moving on to the criticism of foreign collaboration. The foreign collaboration has become ubiquitous in the neoliberal world order of the early 21st century. However, all often these collaborations have lacked prudence and foresight in terms of the consequences for the local populations. Moreover, the loopholes of international business law allow these companies to go scot-free and evade accountability toward the citizens of the countries in which they operate on. Some of the major criticism are as follows. First, drainage of resources. Through foreign collaboration, many MNCs simply aim is to earn profit by any way. So they exploit developing nations' natural resources and increase pollution level. Second, minimum transfer of technology or obsolete technology. It's been largely observed that when we talk about foreign collaboration in developing nations, minimum transfer of technology takes place. Many nations are criticized for delivery of obsolete technology to developing nations and that to a very high price. MNCs are also blamed to force developing nations to pay for outdated technology. Third, exploitation of labor. One of the major criticisms that faced by foreign collaboration is exploitation of labor in host nations. Most recent case for exploiting the cheap labor offered by host nation that be highly publicized is the operation of sportswear maker Nike in countries such as Indonesia and Philippines. Fourth, creation of monopolies. Through foreign collaboration, MNCs misuse their economic power to create monopolies and change economic policies of host nation. MNCs are so large and strong that it does not allow the domestic industry to grow and come up. Through heavy advertisement and other ways, these MNCs do not live domestic companies. Fifth, politics. Many MNCs like Barclays, JP Morgan or Walmart are so much large that can easily influence the government decision in host nation. They believed to use arm twisting politics to improve their share in domestic markets. Domestic government also face some pressure from the government of home nation of such MNCs. United States is supposed to strongly support their MNCs in quest of profit and larger trade share across the world. Moving further, let us now learn about the pre and post liberalization era in foreign collaboration. To analyze the pattern of foreign collaboration in India, there is a period of around 50 years from 1951 to 2000 divided into two parts, the pre and post liberalization era. In the first 40 years from 1951 to 1991, the number of foreign collaboration has been increased in a cyclical manner, starting with meagre 44 collaboration in the year 1951. It increased to 592 in the year 1961 and then suddenly 402 in 1962. The year in which India faced war with China and number dropped further to 343 when India faced war with Pakistan. This was followed with further decline due to political turmoil and rapid changes in government policies, marked with stricter regulatory requirements. This trend continued more or unchanged during 1970s when the country underwent dramatic changes in political arena with the imposition of emergency followed by short-lived Janta Party government at the center. 80s, however, saw the return to the rising trend, which goes on increasing in the 1990s. The period between 1991-2000 has observed a remarkable growth and the total number of collaboration in the decade surpassed the total number of all the collaborations in the four decades preceding it. 
the total number of collaboration in the nine years of post liberalization 1992 to 2000 period is observed to be 17810 while in the 41 years of pre liberalization 1951-99 there were only 15105 foreign collaboration in the 41 years of pre liberalization era our foreign collaborations were limited to 25 countries only in the post liberalization era the number of countries with whom india has entered into foreign collaborated increased to 112 a dramatic over fourfold rise indeed in the post liberalization era one of the major engagement is of nris investment in terms of level of collaboration in the post liberalization era 1992-2000 by number USA tops the list followed by Germany, the Great Britain and Japan and further followed by Netherlands, Mauritius, Italy, France and Switzerland. The next few places have been occupied by the South East Asian countries merely. Let us now recapitulate what we have learned so far. Foreign collaboration is basically an alien that is incorporated to carry on tasks collectively with the participation of native and non-native entities like individual parties, business firms, companies, organizations, governments, etc. Basic objectives of for foreign collaboration, financial growth, cutback, higher operating cost, industrial growth, employment generation, and sustainable and eco-friendly development. Foreign collaboration is basically of four types, financial, technical, marketing and management consultancy. Foreign collaboration in India takes place in three forms, collaboration between Indian company and foreign company, collaboration between Indian government and foreign company, collaboration between Indian government and foreign government. Foreign collaboration is mainly criticized due to transfer of obsolete technology, drainage of resources, exploitation of labor, creation of monopoly, etc. Thank you.